Thank you for tuning into my channel. We're working on the beginner sampler quilt today and we're going to create block number five. So if you want to see how to make a block like this, please stay tuned. <music> So much for joining me on the uh, beginner sampler quilt that we're, we've been making for the last few weeks. Um, so far we've made four blocks and um, I'll show you, I'll review those at the end of the video. Today we're going to try a different block. This one is a little bit easier from, uh, easier than the keyboard block and hopefully it will allow you to use a lot of different scraps. Um, as a reminder, um, these um, I'm using the Block a Day book for inspiration. This was written by Lucille Ganderton. It has 365 quilt blocks um, that you can use for your inspiration. And so that's where I'm getting my inspiration for this beginner sampler. Um, all of these blocks in the book finish at 12 inches, but my blocks are gonna finish at 16 inches. So um, the fabric requirements are gonna be just a little bit different. And I'll tell you the measurements in the video. All right, so here's the block that we're going to try today. In the book, they call it uh, Fields of Green. And it is in the, um, the block in the book has green um, fabrics in it. This is going to be an opportunity for us to use a lot of different scraps. So let me show you what I'm going to do with it. The block is basically a 16 patch, and so you need 16 squares to complete it. And the layout is what gives it um, this... Uh, grade, grade, gradated, gradated look or ombre look, whatever you want to call it. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a slightly different approach. Instead of using only one um, color, I'm going to use four. So we're going to start with a blue and then I'm going to do two yellows. So a yellow on either side and then a green on either side. And the, my background fabric is going to be at both ends. In the, in the, um, in the picture, they use, uh, it looks like one, two, three, five different fabrics. But I'm using six different fabrics to complete my block. The first stage of this is going to be to cut everything into four and a half inch squares. I am going to do that on camera just so you can see me do it. Uh, but I will speed it up in the video. I am mostly, probably only going to be using my shape cut ruler to get my four and a half inch squares. So let me get set up and then we'll cut some fabric. made a mistake from what I intended to do but I think it's going to be fine so just as a um, just for information this is how many blocks I have my center diagonal is going to be blue so I'm going to go ahead and lay that out and then my original plan was to have yellow next but when I cut my um, fabrics out I actually cut the greens like they were next and so that's what's going to be next and you can, of course, when you're making a quilt like this, since it's a sampler, then whatever you say goes. And so, and I think this is going to actually end up a little bit nicer this way because it's going to be more ombre. It's going to go from darker to lighter. I, that's what I think is going to happen anyway. Okay, so I'm going to put the green on either side. 
And this one actually I didn't have enough to like it wasn't wide enough. So I just put a seam right there and stitched it together. Hopefully you won't be able to tell in the block. So this one goes here. All right, and then for my two yellows, they're gonna go next, and there are three of each of the yellow fabrics. No, they're not, no, they're not. They're two of each of the yellow fabrics. I'm gonna put this one over here. Okay. And then the corner blocks, which is the background squares, they are gonna be last. All right. Now to sew this together, normally I um I do a form of chain piecing, and I'm gonna chain piece this as well. But instead of um, doing just two at a time like that, I'm actually gonna do two, 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 and two, and then add one on each um, on each row so you can see what that looks like. Um, I will finger press as I go. So let's get started. We're gonna start with um, the top two, the yellow and the background right sides together okay then i'm coming over to the sewing machine quarter inch seam from top to bottom you can use a leader ender here i don't have a leader ender i don't have a leader right now so i'm just going to hold these threads kind of um out of the way and so hopefully my um my fabric won't get caught very good Make sure that they're lined up on the end here. Sometimes my machine does something weird, but it's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the next two. Next two, right sides together. And... I would take this off and do the finger press but I'm not going to do it I'm going to leave everything stitched together and then I'm going to go to the next block or the next row all right and I sort of wish that I had a um, like some small pieces that I could stitch together but I'm just going to not worry about it this time And now the last row, right sides together, and here we go. Okay, now I'm going to take off all of these. I'm just going to pull them all off like this. And so now the um, they're all joined together, and I think that's that's good. That's fine. All right. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of finger pressing. I'm gonna go uh, the first and third row. I'm gonna finger press to my right, and then the other two I'm gonna finger press to my left. So I'll do this. And you could go ahead and go to the iron if you want to. I'm just choosing not to. I'm just just finger pressing first. And you do this so that your seams uh, line up nicely without a lot of bulk. We call it nesting. You want your seams to nest. Okay, and then the bottom row, the stitches are going to the left. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I just did. I'm doing each one, uh, folding over, right sides together, stitching, and then the last row. I'll, um, I'll speed up the camera here so that you can see the process, but you don't actually have to watch me sew. Or sew slowly. So let me speed up the camera and then we'll, um, we'll see what it looks like when we're done.
stitch together um, but I'm going to cut them apart you can see that they're in one giant chain right now and I have the seams opposing so that's really good and before I um, before I sew the rows together I'm actually going to go ahead and cut in between um, all of the seams you don't necessarily have to do that that's just what I'm choosing to do and then I'm going to sew the rows together I'll stitch them together off camera and go ahead and give this a press and then I'll show you the finished block. Here is the finished block. I really like the way uh, that this came together. It is super duper simple. And I can imagine this as um, a one block wonder with a lot of these blocks in it turned all different ways to get some cool patterns. I'm really happy with it. I did have a few issues getting the seams to line up, but hopefully you can't tell it too much on camera. Uh, like this one right here is really bad, but I'm not going to be stressed about it. Um, I think it's going to be really nice in the quilt. Look at all of the blocks that we've put together so far. We started with the four patch block here. Then we did the nine patch. And then we did the checker square block. And then the keyboard block. And now we've done the field of green block. So we have four more left. Can't wait to see how all of this blocks and this quilt come together. If you have any questions about what you've seen in the video, please leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!